Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shabri. Today is Wednesday, March the 25th. We are on, I don't know what day of this quarantine. Not really sure how long it's been, but it's been quite some time. We have been practicing social distancing here in my home. Um, the only time we really go out is for grocery or to go to the store to pick up like household items. Other than that, we've been in the house. I definitely wanted to come and just talk to you about the last few days on keto. With this quarantine that has been going on, I can't lie to you, I have to be honest, I have definitely fallen off of keto for the past three, four days. It hasn't been too bad, but just with everything going on, we have been doing what well, I've been doing, what I would call panic eating. I know a lot of people are doing like panic shopping at the grocery store. I've been panic eating. We've more so been eating out and yeah time to get back on keto so if you have fallen off don't hold it against yourself too much it's normal in its life once you recognize what you've been doing as long as you get back on that is what counts the most so today is Wednesday March 25th and I'm pretty much getting back on keto today so it's a little after 11 o'clock right now so still a little early in the afternoon um, I do plan to break my fast a little bit later I'm not hungry right now so I'm not going to force myself to eat but when I do eat I plan to make this new recipe that I came across here on YouTube not really a new recipe but a new way of making um, a Caesar salad I'll link below in my description box the video that, that I saw the lady create the recipe on so you guys can check her video out but I'll be making chicken Caesar tacos today so if you guys want to see that, definitely stay tuned to the rest of the video. We also did a little bit of grocery shopping a few days ago, right before I fell off of keto. I have a refrigerator full of keto grocery food, so I'll insert the clip in this video on what we picked up. And of course, we still had some groceries left over from my previous hauls throughout the week. But I'll show y'all what I picked up last from the grocery store. Today is Friday, March the 21st, I believe. We just did another grocery haul. I'm going to come and just show y'all what we got really quick. Um, picked up two things of the Parmesan shaved cheese from Publix. These were like the last two on the shelf so I did pick them up because I don't plan on going back to the grocery store if I don't have to. Hakeem did like the um, Just Cracker Egg or Ida Bowl so he picked up two more of those. So we got two of those. I love that chicken cauliflower rice that I made in my last um, What I Eat in a day on keto video if you haven't seen that check it out um, so I picked up a family size bag of this so it just gives us more rice I can stretch it over to more than one meal and it does come with a ziploc so you can use some and put up the rest got an onion for that rice from my hot wings I just picked up some ranch dressing we're trying a different Caesar dressing again still by Marie's but it's a lighter version it's more of a vinaigrette so these were on sale. I would get one here from Publix picked up two of those Picked up a head of lettuce because I'm going to make those burgers again. Um, I picked up two more waters. Um, another thing of eggs. Again, this is the only size carton of eggs that they have been having at Publix. Picked up some more bacon bits for our salad. And some jalapeno peppers. I picked up two things of ground beef. The grass-fed ground beef. One will be for burgers and maybe the other for burgers as well. I'm not sure. Picked up some bacon. I picked up a pack of chicken breast fillets. Hakeem did pick up some more smokehouse sausage sticks by Bridge for it. So again, if you guys are looking for like a quick snack, try these out. They must be good because we got another pack. Um, and I got a thing of collard greens. I am going to make some collard greens up out of those. Hakeem wants to try like a wrap. So we picked these out. These aren't really keto, but they are a low carb option. So they're only seven net carbs for one wrap 60 calories so i'm probably going to do like a chicken quesadilla for him or some type of wrap yeah that's it i think we spent a total of 104 dollars and yeah so what i am going to do right now is to go ahead and take out the chicken for my chicken caesar tacos i told y'all even though i have not been doing keto i have nothing but keto food in here i need to rearrange my freezer so i have a lot of frozen cauliflower rice in here we have bags of like chicken breast i have quest pizzas down here my strawberries frozen fruit for the um smoothies so that's what we're looking like but i'm gonna take out some chicken breast i don't think i'm gonna do the chicken breast i have a bag of chicken tenderloins in here that i can pick up i'm gonna take this out to fall this for so yeah, these are about Purdue, the chicken tenderloins. I'm going to take these out to thaw a few pieces for my chicken Caesar salad. Um, I told y'all that I had a whole bunch of lettuce, and I meant that. Two cases of romaine lettuce here that I need to use. I have lettuce down in here, collard greens, some more romaine lettuce, 
lettuce for burgers like we have so much lettuce in here and i need to use it before it goes bad so that's pretty much what we're looking like i'm gonna take some of these out thaw them out in like a bowl of water let me turn y'all back to me so yeah i'm gonna thaw those out um in some water and yeah that's what we're gonna eat for now tonight for dinner i'm not really sure what i'm going to do but that's about to be lunch in the next few hours or so so i'm gonna go ahead thaw that out and then i'll come back to you guys when i'm actually making it the only thing i really have to show y'all with making it is how um to make the taco shells for it so i'll come back to you guys once i get that started tell me now tell me something because i don't know how this gonna end oh no tell me now tell me something Cause I don't wanna be just friends No, no Yeah Hit me out, hit me out That can make you do the craziest things Yeah I didn't, I didn't, I I didn't mean to hurt you, babe taco shells melting so you're supposed to leave it in the oven for six to eight minutes i believe so i'm gonna let that continue to melt down and yeah yeah i'll come back to you guys once i have everything assembled so these are the cheese shells i see that i did not put enough cheese in it but pretty much once the cheese comes out of the oven you want to pick it up with a spatula while it's still hot and let it sit between um the ridges of the muffin pan so that it can kind of shape itself oh yeah this is what we're looking like this may be a fail but i'm gonna let it sit and then i'll complete it up once it's finished this one looks better than this one but that's what we have you guys this is how it looks i hope y'all can hear me the tv on and that dryer is going but this is how it looks i kind of overstuffed it but i just wanted to give you guys an idea of how it looks so i'm gonna let they taste it and he'll tell me what he thinks i'm gonna try so what do you think i like it is it salty i can't see you with the light let me put the opposite you give it a nine it's good i like it so, babe likes it, so I'm gonna make me one and I'll let y'all know how I feel about it. It's good. I have mine right here. Hey you guys, so it's a little bit later in the day. Well, a lot later in the day. It's going on eight o'clock. So I've been editing the first part of the vlog 
all day today and I wanted to just come and let you all know because I noticed I don't really film everything that I eat throughout the day but I just wanted to come and make that um, disclaimer that just because I'm not filming it doesn't mean that I'm only eating what I'm showing y'all throughout the day I mainly only show you guys the food that I'm cooking such as meal ideas I don't show you guys actually like my snacks that I have like I snack on cashews throughout the day I snack on strawberries I snack on peanut butter sometime and I don't really show y'all that but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am eating between meals whenever I feel hungry I really don't just let myself um, go with that feeling because that can lead to other things but I wanted to make that disclaimer and then also just show you all what I took out to cook for dinner so yeah I just took out some chicken wings to thaw out um, so these are gonna thaw out for a little bit I'm gonna do basically hot wings in the air fryer something simple tonight because I have so much lettuce I may make a Caesar salad to go with that and yeah that's going to be it first day back on keto since being off the past four days has been very tempting I've wanted to cheat like not all day but I've been wanting to eat some pizza mainly but I'm trying to push through that push past that that's about it that's quarantine life on keto so I have all the chicken pieces um, thawed out in a bowl I'm gonna go ahead and season it really quick I just wanted to show you all what I use to season my chicken I'm um, pretty simple I use some pink Himalayan salt some crushed black pepper some garlic powder and a little bit of seasoned salt and that's it I'm also going to toss it in a little bit of oil just to make the chicken crispier once it's air while it's air frying and I may add a little bit of hot sauce into that seasoning as well because I'm making hot wings so I'm gonna get to doing that now. I finally stopped running now with you I found my peace somehow let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way The joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was trouble So the first batch of wings are finished I just wanted to come and show you all how they look I cooked these for about I think 30 minutes Don't follow the rules in the or the instructions in the air fryer booklet my chicken always takes longer to cook than what it says and of course it gives you that um, little message on the air fryer um, booklet as well but this is the first batch of seven as you guys can see the skin did crisp up a lot by adding in that oil so if y'all notice y'all wings aren't as crispy in the air fryer definitely try tossing them in the um, in some oil that'll definitely help it to crisp up I'm gonna cook the last seven and then toss them in the sauce second batch of wings are finished so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to here to the bowl I made a quick buffalo sauce just with the Kerrygold butter and hot sauce so that's what I have in here I'm gonna go ahead um, add the chicken toss it and we're gonna eat dinner but yeah that's going to be it I will see you all in my next video thank you for watching Fair